Morning all. I had a very interesting game last night in the Hearts League. I was playing against Roger Lancaster, who I've done a YouTube video of the game last year where he was really crushing me, and after the draw, just in, in his time pressure, which um, he generously accepted. And last night, um, kind of, uh, I, I, I seemed to get um, the upper hand, but, but I blew it. Um, one thing about the Hearts League is at the start of the game, the players can agree to play to a finish or to um, play the longer time control, which is adjudication or adjournment. Um, so I, I wanted to play for a finish, but he's, he wanted the longer one, so that's 35 moves in an hour and a quarter. Um, by the way, the reason I'm, I'm sort of speaking a bit quietly, more quietly than usual, is because it's sort of before 7 in the morning. Um, so I was, I was keen to do this video before heading out later. So anyway, he played e4, and I played the French defence. And he had seen uh, the, one of the previous videos in the Hearts League, uh, where I'd played this bishop e7. Um, it hasn't really affected my results uh, putting games on, on YouTube um, as much as one would expect. I think it's because chess is so vast that often it doesn't really matter what what opening is played, but he, he, you know, he had prepared a system for me. So bishop d3, so he actually wants to play f4. And I've kept saying in, in the Blitz videos about, uh, well, one of the ideas is, is to encourage white to play knight f3. But um, he avoided it, but it was at some, some risk, it seems, in the, in the opening. So he plays f4 here. And for some strange reason, I mean, I think Ribka's getting excited here. I don't, I don't think it's justified. I mean, this is still uh, theoretically okay here for 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 White. Uh, so Queen B6, Knight E2. It looks like standard stuff, F6. Um, but now maybe um, he he should just uh, castle, um, even though that looks as though the diagonal's dangerous. So say he castles, uh, if I take, maybe he can take with a knight now, uh, so knight e takes d4, because otherwise there is this tactic on the diagonal, um, but just, just to demonstrate that, so he takes, see so knight d takes e5, it's to be avoided, I think black is better there, but in this position, if uh, knight e takes d4, this should be okay for white. Or even even better for white, you know. So I think he, he fluffed up the opening a little bit, if this is the case. Now here, knight takes e5. Knight takes. Uh, this apparently is much better for white. Even though it, it seems as though black's playing queen d4 and queen e5. But in this position, rook f2, queen e5. Bishop f4. Where is the queen moving? So it can't move to d4. It can't take that because of the rook f2 now. So queen d4, bishop eight, bishop g6. And they have queen f6. Check. And it looks as though the black king is getting in trouble. After bishop d7 takes and queen b3. Apparently. So that's a very interesting line. Just sacking, um, you know, allowing knight e5 here to get a very good position. So white should have just castled. And that's a very important point here that in in whatever we've done here, uh, his next move seems an inaccuracy, h4. Although it seems highly logical as well, to totally kind of discourage me castling, because of bishop h7s and knight g5s. But that is often, um, you know, that Greek gift is often dependent on the queen coming to h5. And if there's a knight, you know, on e2, that's interrupting the queen coming there. Um, so... I took the risk in actually, um, in this position, um, after bishop b4 check, um, I didn't want to castle straight away, but maybe that's fine here. Um, or it's complicated. Queen c2, I, I don't know actually. But what I played was bishop b4 check, <clears throat> and bishop d2, and I was looking in this position at bishop d2 for a while, and queen b4, and I thought this this might be okay. But I thought it was slightly passive with this structure. Um, you know, for example, uh, so say bishop b1 here. Um, if I try and get this bishop on that diagonal, you know, I think he's just going to chase the knight. And, you know, bishop c2 and bishop a4, uh, if I'm not careful. So say this position, bishop a6. 
um, the c file I think this this favors white somehow so bishop a four here yeah I think it's it's better for white uh although I guess i could I've got b five here so so maybe it's not that bad either for, for black knight b six it's pliable but uh, i I chose a r more risky um uh, continuation so i I castled and I think again an inaccuracy from white he could have just played a three uh because after bishop d two queen d two you know his his center's okay here actually for the moment it would seem and he is actually threatening bishop h seven almost knight g five if I'm not careful let's say I played knight here um Okay, maybe this well the threat of knight b3. I'm not really sure actually. It Rivka likes this for white anyway. So um, he didn't play that. He played rook f1, and it, so he's leaving his king in the centre. And also, um, there's there's another problem here. After takes, I just sacrificed the exchange because I thought it was kind of natural to to blow up white's centre, and more importantly to liberate this. Um, this light squared bishop. See, once the center's blown, you know this this pawn's uh, free to move up. So this bishop will be liberated. So I, I played rook takes f3, and actually, apparently, his objective the best move is g takes. Uh, so knight takes, say, and now bishop takes. So if queen takes here, queen d2, and. Um, the queen's coming off because I can't, I can't move the queen away because now knight takes d4 is winning because of bishop h7, if queen d4 bishop h7. So if I have to exchange off queens here, um, then there's a problem. So queen e2 is, is a small advantage to white, but I have got knight e5. Um, but again, apparently white's is okay in this kind of continuation here. Uh, so knight d3, king e2, and, and white's going to be a tiny bit better, apparently. But what what he did gave me, a, you know, an advantage. Um, he did a more natural-looking rook takes f3. So after knight takes d4, I was hoping, you know, not just to win e5, but win h4 in some lines, which happened. So queen takes, bishop takes, and he plays queen d2, so I win h4. So I'm getting about... Uh, Three pawns for the exchange, as well as a liberated bishop. Um, there's a downside to all this, though. White is going to have a rook coming in on the c file. Um, so he plays queen f2, so I just take the queens off. Um, anything else is not kind of adequate. I was hoping actually for g3 here, because then knight e5. If takes, knight takes f3, full king, king, and queen. But uh, we, we go to this ending. And, I, you know, according to Ripko, I'm not actually doing that brilliantly. It's like uh, black's up just almost half a pawn, 0.47 or 0.41. It's changing its mind. So bishop b5, um, maybe that's the, not the most accurate move. The king could just, you know, go to d2, perhaps. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, it's going to be hard for, for black a little bit. Uh, black has to be careful. Especially with a c file, you know, and... and you know, uh, the retarded kind of development still at the moment. Um, so what he played actually just encouraged uh, a6 and b5, bishop b5. But um, we're approaching move 35 uh, here. Well, I say that actually, we're at move 21. So he's actually got a long way to move 35. He's going to play a lot of moves quickly. So he's almost used his hour and a, half, um, hour and a quarter. Um, so I played knight g4 because it still keeps that liberating move e5. On, on the go. So bishop a4, b5, and now I I play. Um, I thought my position was sort of difficult actually because I didn't like this rook c1 to c7. I thought if bishop d7, rook c1. I thought if I'm not careful here, I'm going to be in trouble. Um, but you know maybe this this is fine actually this position if I've got rook d8. So say here here, well there's either rook d8, um, which may not be that good actually because rook a7, um, but in, in this position maybe knight f6, 
So I think Black is is fighting for an advantage here now. But this this didn't happen. In, f in fact, I played a5 because I wanted to chase this bishop off this diagonal so I could play e5 without d5 being a major problem. 